This video shows you how to get started using the devexpress.net MAUI data form control to generate edit forms for any data object. After the form is created, I'll show you how to display a custom editor for specified data, implement data validation, reorder, and group editors. Before you begin, we recommend you review the video on how to use our NuGet gallery to incorporate our controls into your .NET MAUI application, or review the Get Started section in the documentation. For this video, we're also going to assume that you have the latest version of Visual Studio 22 Preview with all required workloads installed. And if you're not familiar with the .NET MAUI framework, please review Microsoft documentation on how to start using this platform. Okay, let's get started. We'll start with creating a new .NET MAUI application using the DevExpress templates. In this sample, we need the data form and data editors. Pick these options and click Create. Open the main page.xaml, add a data form control in XAML, and specify its name. Create a new class. We'll call it Personal Info. We'll fulfill this class with types that our login form will display. First and last names, birth date, gender, password, email, phone, and the newsletter's subscription. These property names are displayed as labels before the generated editors. Open the main page.xaml.cs and set our data form controls data object property to a new instance of our personal info class and run the application to see the result. As you can see, the data form control has created data editors for the types that we've specified in the personal data class. Text edits for strings, DX calendar for date time, and combo box edit for enumerations. In some cases, you may want to change the generated data editor control. For example, it's better to use the password box edit for strings that store passwords. Let's implement it in our application. To do this, you should use the attributes that specify the editor that data form should generate for a property. Open the personal info.cs file and add the data form password editor attribute above the password property. Run the application and focus the passwords editor. As you can see, the password box edit is used to display this property. The data form control has the data form display options attribute that allows you to specify the labels and icons of the generated editors. Let's add a custom label to the newsletter switch. In the personal info.cs file, add the data form display options attribute and specify its label text value. Let's choose subscribe to newsletters. You can also hide an editor's label using the is label visible property. We'll hide the last name's editor label. Run the application. And as you can see, the labels are updated, but the width of the switch editor isn't large enough to fit the text in one line. Let's go back to the personal info.cs file and specify the label min width property to 200 to fix it. Now, that's much better. You can display an editor's icon using the label icon property of the data form display options attribute. Let's specify the icon for the first name editor. In your project, create the images folder and place the icon in this folder. Select the image in your Solution Explorer window and change the build action to Maui image in the properties window. In the personal info.cs file, set the label icon property to your icon's name. The data form control includes the data form masked editor attribute that allows you to specify the editor's mask. We'll use this attribute to specify a mask for the text edit that displays the phone property. Open the personal info.cs file and add this attribute above the phone property. Specify the data form masked editor's mask property to the required mask. You can also use keyboard property to specify a keyboard type that is displayed when a user inputs a value in this editor. Run the application and start typing in the phone editor. As you can see, the user can input a value only in the format that we've specified. The keyboard includes only those keys that can be used to input a phone number. 
The data form control allows you to display editors in groups. To do this, use the group name property of the data form display options attribute. Let's divide editors on our login form in two groups, profile and contact info. Specify the group name property for all the editors. Note that editors without a specified group name value are displayed on top of the form. Run the application. You can use the data form item positions row order property to specify the order in which the data forms editors are displayed on the generated form. Note that each group has its own order. To demonstrate this behavior, I set the row order property for the first and last name editors to one. In this case, these editors are displayed on the top of the group. The data form item position attribute allows you to display multiple editors in one row. To do that, set the row order property to the same value for all of the editors that you want to display on one line, and then item order in row for these editors. The latter property specifies the order in which these editors are displayed within the line. In this example, we display the first name editors in the beginning of the line and last name editor after it. And voila! The data form includes the in place label text property. It allows you to specify the text displayed within the text editor. This property is useful when you've hidden the editor's caption. The data form control includes the validate property event that is raised on each update of the editor's value. To validate a value of the particular editor, you can use the validate property event arguments that contain the name of the property whose value is changed. In our application, we'll validate email that a user has typed in the editor. In the validate property event handler, we'll use the event arguments new value property to check the text that is entered in the email text edit. You can also use the standard attributes that validate a string value. We use the string length attribute to validate the password value. In this sample app, the password should contain eight characters minimum. The data form control includes a number of properties that allow you to customize the appearance of the whole data form at once. You can change the width of the label area, colors of labels, editor's text, group background, and much more. Let's specify these properties in XAML and run the application to see the final result. You can also explore the data form in our demo application. This application is available on App Store, Google Play, and GitHub. A link to the repository is available in the description below. And that's it for this video. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.